So welcome to the Launcher Manager Ultimate for all of your Android TV devices, for your 4K Fire Sticks and newer devices. What does it do? As the name implies, it's a single application that's cross-platform, whether you're doing it on Android TV or Fire OS. And literally with one click, I can now click on Disable Stock Launcher. Give that a second. Once that's now done, when I now press the home key on my NVIDIA Shield, I now get a prompt asking me which launcher do you want to use. So let's say for example I want to use the new Google Home Launcher. I can click on this, give that a second, and I'm now using the latest Google TV Launcher on my NVIDIA Shield Pro. And that's not all guys, as we can just see here, if I go over to the settings, device preferences, click on about and here we can just confirm that this process is working on the latest firmware of the NVIDIA Shield which is 8.2.1 and let me press the home button again so let's say for example I'd rather use the Wolf Launcher because I like using widgets let me click on that now and the other great thing is with this Launcher Manager you don't need to enter in any ADB commands to enable those widgets so all of the commands that you need are automatically built in to the Launcher Manager. So one click, choose your custom launcher and you are automatically enabled for widgets. And that's not all guys. One final thing, as you guys know on the NVIDIA Shield, one of the great features that it has is double pressing the home button brings up the recents menu. And guess what guys? And that still works on the Launcher Manager Ultimate. So in this video today, let me show you how you can get the Launcher Manager Ultimate on your NVIDIA Shield or your Chromecast with Google TV. You can then choose any custom launcher. You can change the background and you can even enable widgets. All you need to do is just hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're started. new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to begin this process on the NVIDIA Shield Pro, make sure you've gone into your developer options and turned on network debugging. And if you are doing this on a Chromecast with Google TV, make sure you've turned on the USB debugging. Once you've done that, let's bring up the application downloader. And we're now going to use this short address to get to my website. And that short address is just 53402. Let's type that in and click on go. And that's the quickest way to get to my website. Once you get to that, if you click on the hamburger menu, which is the one with the three lines, and we now want to click on tutorials. And the latest tutorial in the list will be how we can use the brand new Launcher Manager Ultimate on our Android TV devices to customize our launcher. So let's open that up. Let's scroll down. Here we have the step-by-step uh, -step instructions. Let's keep going down. And just under that, we have software needed. So the first application is the Launcher Manager Ultimate. And this is the application that will allow you to choose any custom launcher. And it also has the custom ADB commands built in. So you can start using widgets straight away if you choose the Wolf Launcher. So that's the first thing we need to install. Let's click on that. Scroll down and you want to find that green download button. There it is. Let's download that first. Once you've done that, let's press back on the remote. Then if you want to use the Wolf Launcher and you're doing this on NVIDIA Shield, then install this one here. And if you want to try out the Google TV Launcher, install this thing over here. So let's just go for the Google TV Launcher. Click on that. In fact, I'll also install the Wolf Launcher just so you have a couple of options that we can choose when it asks you which launcher do you want to use. Let's scroll down and click on download now. And lastly, let's go back and let's get the Wolf Launcher for Shield TV and click on the green download button. So once you've installed all of that, let's now press the home key. Okay, so you've installed the Launcher Manager Ultimate and the Wolf Launcher and also the Google TV Launcher on your NVIDIA Shield. The next thing we need to do is open up that Launcher Manager. Now, because this is a third party application, I'm just going to use a Cider Launcher, which basically shows you all of your third party applications. I can now scroll down and this application with the yellow cog wheel called Launcher Manager Ultima is the application we want to open. So let's open that up. Now, the first thing that the application does, it does a scan of your device and confirms what's your current stock launcher. And we can see on the NVIDIA Shield, it's just called Android TV Home. And if you open up this application on the Chromecast with Google TV, the active launcher will say Launcher X. And that's what the stock launcher is called. Now, what we want to do here is we want to disable the stock launcher. So let's click on that now. 
So the first time you do this, you will see this prompt. So make sure you have got USB debugging or network debugging enabled. Let's click on that and click on OK. OK, we get the message there saying press the home button to select the launcher. So I can now press the home button. And there it is, guys. So no ADB commands, no third party applications like button mapper, literally just one click. And we can now choose whichever launcher that we like. So do give a thumbs up for that, guys. OK, so let's firstly start with the Google TV launcher, because I know lots of the Shield owners do actually like that launcher. So let's click on that. And this should take a second, refresh all of those background services and then start the launcher for you. Now, in a previous video, some of you are saying that you're not able to use the search properly, but we can see with this version that we've installed, I can press the mic button, comedies, let's see if that works. And there we are, guys. We now get to see a result of uh, comedy movies, uh, whether they're on Netflix, uh, on YouTube. So that search process is definitely working. In fact, let's just try one last thing. What's the weather in London? So the search feature is definitely working on the Nvidia Shield using this version of Launcher X. Um, I know lots of you actually prefer this launcher just because it does actually aggregate all of your different official services, uh, streaming content. So you can see um, stuff from BBC iPlayer, from Netflix and all that kind of stuff. But let's say now we're bored of this launcher. We want to try something else. So once again, let's go over to applications. Let's go back to the Launcher Manager Ultimate. Let's click on that. And that's the great thing about this process, guys, because previous methods, they required you to use ADB commands to uninstall the stock launcher. And what that meant was if you ever did go back to the stock launcher in the future, all of your settings, all of your layouts, all of your customizations will actually be gone. But with this process, guys, as you can see, as soon as I click on enable stock launcher, I now press the home key. And just like that, with one click, we're now back to the stock launcher with all of my settings and layouts retained. So it really is as easy as that. Let's once again disable the stock launcher. And this time, let me now press the home key. Let's now go for Wolf. So let's click on Wolf. Now, let me just take this opportunity to say a massive thanks to all of the new members of my channel. Your support really does mean a lot. And if any of you guys want to sign up, I'm doing a special promotion for the first 100 members whereby all of you can join my private chat group. And in this chat group, we can talk about stuff, we can provide support to each other, and we can even share our APKs. So some of those applications, some of those toolboxes I'm working on, you guys can get early access to them. So if that sounds of interest to you, do have a look out for the join button. Thank you. Wolf is looking great. Let me press the home one more time. And this time I want to click on always. That basically means like every time I press the home key, it'll always stay on the Wolf launcher until I go back to the launcher manage ultimate and choose something else. And here's one of my favorite launchers, guys. So we have the Wolf launcher working. We have widgets working on the top. I can now press and hold here. I can click on scale contents. I can make that a little bit smaller. Click on OK. That's looking great. I can also press and hold here. I can choose pick widget. And let's try this one over here. And that's looking great. And if you want to change the wallpaper, press and hold here. Go to the launcher settings. Go to wallpaper. Click on select wallpaper. And anything you download with downloader, which I have covered before, will appear in the downloader folder, which we can see here. Let's try this one over here. Give that a second. And that's working great. And definitely for me, guys, one of the biggest plus points was that with the previous method, we had no way of getting to the recents menu. But as we can see here, guys, anytime I want to, I can double press the home key and see the recents menu. So I can close things down. It just makes the management of your background applications just so much easier by using this feature. Let's close that down. And that's it, guys. And of course, if you get bored, I want to go back to the stock launcher. As you guys know, Click on settings, which is actually the launcher manager ultimate. Click on enable stock launcher, press the home key. And just like that, guys, we're back to the stock launcher on our Nvidia Shield Pro. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Lots of you are asking for the slickest and easiest process to do this, whether you want to try out the new Google TV launcher or you want to use the Wolf launcher or really any other custom launcher available for the Nvidia Shield. So. If you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. As you guys know, I'm always looking for better and easier ways of getting things done 
on our Android TV devices or Amazon devices, just so we can really get the most from them. So I really do appreciate your support. Do leave me a comment below, let me know what you think, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.